Welcome. Today we'll be making beef burgers with smoked gouda spread and roasted banana pepper mayo. I'm Chef Ray and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School online. We're going to start by roasting our banana pepper. 450 degrees, 10 minutes, then you turn it another four minutes. Now uh, here I have one that's already been roasted and as you can see really really nice color on it. What we're going to do is we're going to place it in our bowl and cover it with some plastic wrap. Now what this is going to do for us it's going to allow that steam to really loosen up the skin on our pepper so we'll come back to this in a little bit. Now we're going to make our spread. I'm going to finely slice some green onions we're going to use the whole thing, the green and the white. Okay, so we're going to bring our bowl over. We're going to add our green onions. Now we're going to use a smoked Gouda for this, which is going to be really, really nice. Going to add some great, great flavor to this dish. So we're going to grate up our cheese. Sure you get it all out of there. We're going to add this to our bowl. Now we're going to add some fried peppers. Uh, if you need to drain these, go ahead. Uh, but what we did also was we gave it a little bit of a chop. Uh, we still want to have a lot of that texture going, uh, but a nice chop is always a good idea. We have some garlic, some whipped cream cheese, some dill relish, some smoked paprika, great flavor on this too. Black pepper, and we're going to do three tablespoons of mayo. And now we're going to combine. Now this spread is a play on a pimento cheese spread. Uh, we've made some changes to it. We substituted the cheddar for some smoked gouda and made a couple other little modifications to it. Now, if you want to, you can make this the day before, the night before, whatever works best for you. Uh, you would keep it in your refrigerator. But for us, we're just gonna set it aside and I'm gonna go get our burgers. All right, so here are our burgers and these are six ounce patties and we're going to season them with our roasted garlic butter. And we want to get nice coverage. I have my grill pan here that has been preheated and we're going to drop our burgers. That's the sound you want to hear. Here's our pepper from earlier that has steamed nicely. So now this skin should come right off with the back of our knife. We're going to take the top of our pepper off. Going to give it a nice slit down the middle, open it up, take the back of our knife again and scrape off all those seeds. Now when we slice our pepper, I like to go lengthwise, nice and thin. Then I'm going to take them, give them a little bit of a turn, and then continue slicing. So we're looking for a nice fine dice. Now we're going to place our peppers in a bowl. And we are ready to turn our burgers. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift and we're going to turn. Now this is going to give you that crosshatch grill mark, which is really, really nice. Lift and then quarter turn. 
Okay, now we're gonna continue making our mayo. I have here some garlic, some Worcestershire, our ketchup, some chili sauce, and our mayo. Make sure everything's nice and mixed. All right. Our burgers are smelling fantastic. Now they're ready to be flipped. What we're gonna do, carefully flip. Give them a flip. And now we wanna make sure we cook our burgers all the way through. 160 degrees is what we're looking for. I'm gonna go get some buns and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so now we're going to toast our buns. I already sliced these in half and we're using our French hamburger rolls. I'm placing these on a tray. And what I did was I changed the setting on our oven to broil. We're going to place it in our center rack. I'm gonna toast them for about two minutes. All right, our burger buns are ready to go. Beautiful color on these. We're gonna place our buns. Then we're going to top with our burger. All right, so now for our build, we're going to add that Gouda spread. Now for the top half of our bun, we're gonna spread some of that banana pepper mayo. And top, give it a light squish. Now, the most important part, we're going to give this a taste. All right, here we go. When you start out with great ingredients, you get great results. From the patty, to that smoked Gouda, to the sauce, everything just works together. You get a little bit of a spiciness to it at the end but you get that creaminess from the cream cheese, the cheese. So indoors, outdoors, wherever you're firing up your grill, these are some flavors you'll definitely wanna to add to your burger topping arsenal. You can find the recipe using the link below and make sure you subscribe to find more Publix Aprons Cooking School videos and other great content from Publix. Thanks.